Welcome to High School Gym Gyms. I'm Brandon Chapman. I headed out on a Friday to check out Rodney Clark as he attempted to break Ty Harmon's record. Here's Rodney's first bucket of the day as he drives into the lane off the glass for two. Then Rodney shows he has some defensive skills as well. Sure. Then watch him push the basketball in the break. Get baseline up and one. Then watch him take advantage of a able turnover and then good movie. Then watch him here. Oh, you're gonna double team on Oh, by you. Oh, by you. And buckets. Now, Rodney's known for his shooting ability, but watch his ball handling here. Crossy. And then, uh, Crossy. And. And what? One of the things that makes him special is his mid range game. Watch him pull up in the lane. Buckets. Rodney's really taking his game to the next level this year. He gets to the lane wherever he wants, whenever he wants. Then, here he goes again. You reach, I teach. You reach, I teach. Oh, Gavin Coach. Then with time running out in the first half, he says, I know I've been getting to the bucket a lot, but don't forget what I'm in for. After only scoring four points in the third quarter, Rodney decides to make sure he gets the record on Friday night. There's a medium range jumper, and then watch him get into the line again for a medium range jumper. The tie is tied on Harmon. With Rodney just needing one point to become Oklahoma's all time scoring leader, I'll just let this sequence go and let you enjoy. Rutgers won the area championship 70 to 51, and Rodney Clark became the all time leading scorer in Oklahoma with 37 points. So, congratulations to Rodney. All that hard work in the gym in the summertime paid off big time. So, let's talk to Rodney about getting the record. I'm Ryan Aber from NewsOK.com here with uh, record man himself, Verdigris' is Rodney Clark. Uh, Rodney, a relief to have the record behind you finally? Very big relief. It's a blessing, obviously, but it's a great accomplishment. That's a good, huge relief going into the state tournament and being able to focus on one thing. And uh, the record came late in the game. Uh, you tied it on a, on a jumper uh, with a little, bit, uh, a little bit less than four minutes left. And Broke it on a free throw. What are you thinking stepping up to the free throw line? Uh, actually, what I was thinking, I mean, I knew I was going to make it, but I was thinking it was kind of humorous because what if I missed it and then everybody's going to go. Everybody just had to wait a little bit longer, so it had been funny, but it was, it was good that I got on a free throw. 
Starting at about uh, three minutes into the second quarter, the crowd started counting down, 16, 16. Every time you made it, uh, counted down a little bit more. Uh, were you noticing that as the game went on or, or with the, the scoreboard the way it is here? Well, I had to notice it in the scoreboard. and It's a little bit of a disadvantage because you can't see the time on the scoreboard. I thought that they'd have you know, scoreboards on each side, but uh, it was cool having the fan base do that. And I didn't notice it really until about the late third quarter when they started doing that. And, uh, it's just cool having the student section like that. And how important is it to have this record behind you heading into the state tournament? You don't have to worry about breaking yeah. the record. Uh, just worry about it getting a gold ball. Very important. I, I mean, I told every one of our guys right before the game, just let's get this over with so we can focus and just be ready to play and get past that semifinal game. Well, Rodney, I appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Thank you, and congratulations. Good luck next week. We'll see you in Oklahoma City. Thank you. I appreciate it.